insurance. If somebody came up and they said they want to buy term insurance to me, these are the exact words that would come out of my mouth. I'd say, Mr. and Mrs. Client, you've been told a lot of things about life insurance. Let me now share with you the ultimate truth. Here is the ultimate truth of life insurance. The only policy that matters is the one that's in force on the day that you die. See, it doesn't matter if it's term life, whole life, variable life, index life. The only policy that matters is the one that's in force on the day that you die. Would you agree with me? They say yes. And then I say this. Here's a fact. Less than 2% of term policies are ever in force on the day that you die. Now, that doesn't mean term is bad. What that means is term should never be your only policy. Term is there for supplemental coverage, for extra coverage. When the kids are little, when the bills are high, when the paycheck is small, you use term life insurance. If term is your only policy, you're gonna die with no life insurance in force over 98% of the time. The other thing about term, I'd say is this. Term insurance is cheap for a reason. You're supposed to sell a bunch of it. They're supposed to buy a bunch of it. I would never let a term illustration go out of my office again if it was under a million dollars. Look, say these words. We sell term in units. One million, two million, five million. How many units would you like? <laughs> Maybe I can squeeze a half a unit out of the underwriter. I don't like that. We sell term in units. One million, two million, five million. How many units would you like? Now, let me give you some really deep life insurance questions. If you knew you're gonna die tomorrow, how much life insurance would you buy today? If you knew life insurance was free, how much would you wanna get? As much as I can. Great, let's put that on the application. We're gonna apply for as much as we can. If you were, <laughs> if you were hit by a drunk driver, or for you millennials, if you were hit by a texting driver, how much would the attorney sue for? You see, that's what's important. So let me now let me ask you a tough question. What is the value of a human life? What is the value of, oh, you say, Tom, that's ridiculous. That's disgusting. You can't put a dollar value on a human life. Oh, yeah, it happens every single day in court. Attorneys and insurance companies have to put a dollar value on people every single day. So what is the value of a human life? Well, let's look at the 9-11 Victims Compensation Fund. Remember when 9-11 went down, the towers went down? Well, let me tell you about that day. There were some CEOs, multi, multi-million dollar CEOs in those buildings. There were janitors in that building. There were busboys in that building. There were waiters. There were waitresses. There were policemen. There were firemen. How do you value a busboy versus a CEO? They had to do that. And here's what they did. They looked at three things. They looked at your age, they looked at your income, and they looked at how many kids you have. Here's what they found. The younger you are, the more children you have, and the higher your income, the more life insurance you need. So you wanna know what? That janitor, who wasn't making much, but he was 35 years of age and he had four children, he was worth more than that CEO who was 70 years of age with no children. What does this mean? This means when you're sitting down with people with children, you've got to tell them they're at the point where they have the highest human life value that they're ever going to have. When they're young, when they have children, and if they are making money, they really need a lot of life insurance.